Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a menu navigation system to aid in your PowerPoint presentations. So what do I mean? Let's say that, for example, we have in this uh, presentation we have five modules. And we want to have a navigation uh, system up here on the top that takes us from uh, module 1 to 2, 3, 4, or 5. So in this example, maybe we had finished this presentation and we got some questions in module 2 and all we need to do is click a button here and it will take us back to module 2. Now in a shorter presentation, it may be easier just to go back and use the keyboard and type PPP for previous, but if this was a presentation where it was 30, 40, 50 slides, that might be a little bit more difficult it'd be nicer if we had an option on the top where we can select to go back to a different module. So let's go ahead and see how this would work in presentation view. Let me go click this and go ahead and go into presentation slideshow view. So let's say for example I'm going through something and I go through a module one, I go through the introduction, here's module one, some information, some content slides in module one, and then module two, and then module three, and module four, and then module 5, this is the last module, and maybe I get a question, oh, back on module 3, what was something something? If I go and click over here, it will actually take me up through module 3, and I can go and click ahead and go through those slides again. If I want to go to module 1, I can click on that, and it will take me to module 1, and I can click through it. So that's what I mean by a menu navigation system on the top. Now I'll show you how to create something like this. Let me go ahead and get out of slideshow mode and go into another slide now. Okay, I'm in another presentation. I just copied over the some of the slide content like module 1, module 1.1, 1.2, and etc. And just this. And I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. And in addition, also showing you how to get some uh, images uh, off the PowerPoint uh, search navigational feature. And after that, go ahead and, and using the Slide Master feature and inserting the navigational uh, toolbar up here in the slide masters. So I'll go ahead and show you that concept. I also have another video series or another uh, video that goes into what slide masters are and how to use a slide master and I'll go ahead and put that into the description of the video so you can go and click that if you want to watch that one too. But this is not a video that will cover slide masters. It's more of a video that will cover how to create the navigational toolbar on the top. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu navigation. Let me go and double click this and I'll get into uh, this view which is called the normal view and let's say for example I wanted to put an image here so I can just right click it and go to format background and it's gonna ask it what kind of a background you want there's many types of backgrounds you can add you can add color you know you can add a color to it and we can control Z to undo that or you can add a gradient fill that uh, gives you kind of like a, a darker to lighter uh, color gradient control Z to undo that I, what I like here I'm gonna show here is adding a picture. So there's already pictures here that are available for you, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, and take a picture from online. Click this option. Now it lets me search for a picture. I'm going to go ahead and search for a picture, maybe nature, and then press enter. And uh, I like this picture. I'm going to go ahead and take this picture and click insert. And now I have this picture here. I'm going to close this. And I want to just bring this. I'll go ahead and remove this. And then I'm going to go ahead and just bring this up a little bit. And that looks okay right there. So I'm going to go ahead and start to build out my menu here. So each of these, as I mentioned earlier, um, we're going to use a slide master, but we can change the layout. And the layout is determined by the slide master. So let's, let's say, for example, I wanted to, to choose a text and title layout, which is this one. But what if I didn't want to do that? Maybe for each of the module introductions, those are the section headers. So I would click on that, and that would be a section header. And the same for this one. This would be the section header and the same thing for uh, module 3. So the layout basically is a format for that particular slide. And what the layout does is it helps you uh, put in placement of your text or your objects or your images in the same format uh, for one slide as for one or many slides. So I'm going to have those module slides all have the same layout which is going to be the section header and I'll go ahead and make this for the fifth one. I'll make this also a section header. And for the individual slides, the, the 4.1s, 4.2s, 5.1s, those will be this title and text. So where do these layouts come from? They're going to come from the Slide Master. To get into the Slide Master, you're going to go under View, and under the Master Views, click on Slide Master. So as I mentioned before, those layouts are coming from the Slide Master. So you can see that 
the segue, the segue slide was coming from uh, one of these slides. Let me go ahead and click, try to find it. I think it was, uh, I think it was this slide right here. So this was a segue slide. And if you hover over it, you can see that it says this section header layout was used by slides two, five, eight. And you notice that if we hover over, uh, I believe the bullet slide, which is I think this one. Yeah, uh, I think it's this one. You can see if you hover over it, you'll see that the, that tip's going to come up, and it says it's used by three, four, six, and seven. So this is the title and text layout slide. So when you go into the slide master, you can change the placement of the objects. You know where the text is going to be, if there's any other objects like pictures, and this will apply to that layout option setting when you go in and, and select the slide and change the layout. So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and create our navigational bar for the layout. This is the, the master slide, and so whatever you do up here, it will apply for the other slides here. But we notice that this is our title slide. We don't want that navigation slide to show up for the first slide. This is the uh, the first slide here. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to do it here because we don't want a navigation here. So I'm going to go back into view and go back into slide masters. But I probably want it for the rest of the slides. I probably want it slides here all the way down, but not this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this slide. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this slide, uh, starting from this slide and put it on the rest of the slides because you never know if we're creating slides later on, we might use different layouts. And then when we click the slide and apply other layouts, we'll have the navigation bar on top. So to create that navigation bar, I'm going to be in this uh, title and content layout. I'll go ahead and insert a shape. So I'm going to insert a rectangle shape. Let me go ahead and kind of draw this out. I'll go ahead and draw this out over uh, this click to edit master title side now, but I'll go ahead and adjust it later. So let's see, it's probably, that's probably good size. And I'm going to give this a, I'll give this a green color since we're in the nature motif, we're in the nature uh, theme. Let's go ahead and do that. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and create my modules there. So depending on how many modules you have, uh, I'm just going to put three modules in this one just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to create another shape and go ahead and put it here. So I'm going to go draw that out. Let's see. And then I'll type module. Actually, I have five modules, so I might as well just do all five modules. So I'll call this module one. And that looks OK. Let me go ahead and, and maybe change the, uh, the color of that and maybe make it that color. And you notice that this is a, this is a white color. And that's because I had changed some of the formatting earlier. I think I might have applied. And I'll show you what I mean later on when we do the links. Let me go ahead and uh, look at that. That looks OK. So let me go ahead and press Control D. It would duplicate that particular image shape. I just wanted to kind of have it uh, line up here. Let me call this Module 2. And then uh, make sure that I click it. Those dotted lines are gone. because so it, Basically, the dotted lines uh, indicate that you can edit the text in there. And if you've got the solid lines, you're actually edit editing the object, the shape object. So I'll go ahead and press Control D again. And PowerPoint's kind of smart enough to realize that we want to line them up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the shape again. You see the dot lines. Let me go ahead and click it again so it's a solid line. Press Control D, and then go ahead and make that module four. And uh, oops, need a space there. Well, maybe that was too much. Whoop. Oh, let me go ahead and put module four. Space module four. And then click that, and then press Control D, and I want module five here. So I'll put delete that, put module five. I'm going to move this module five. Oops, I clicked outside. I'm going to move module five over here, kind of close to the edge here. And what I can do now is I want to line this up. And you may think, oh, I need to click on this one and line it up here. Click on this one and line it up here, and maybe module two and line it up. And try to line them up by eyeballing it. But you don't really need to do that. You can just select all of them, press the control key, and press this one and this one. Press and hold the control key while you're doing this. And all I need to do is click on align, and I'll align it and distribute horizontally. So it's going to base it on the first one here and the last one here, and it's going to distribute it horizontally. So it kind of looks pretty good. Now I need to do is just kind of see if I can make this all one uh, one straight line, imaginary line here. And so if I click on this again, maybe I can just move it. I should have done that earlier. See if I can uh, line up. So you can see you have these guidelines when uh, you go ahead and select it. Let me go ahead and see. Uh, here we go. There, there it goes. That fit there. 
let me move this up. Let me go and move this up so it fits there. And do this. And kind of move it. Have my guidelines show me. Yep. And then move module one. And I want to have it kind of line up with there. And now you notice that it kind of uh, uh, didn't, uh, maybe it kind of moved my spaces here. I'm going to go and click, control click to click these objects again and go and click align and maybe distribute horizontally. Let me see how that worked out. So that's not bad. So that actually is okay. Now what I want to do here is I want to create those links that will point to the different modules. So I'm going to double click and it'll select all the text in here and then go to insert and I want to insert a hyperlink. So I'm going to insert a hyperlink that's within this document and I'm going to click for here module one so it's going to select that one and then for module two double click that whoops and then instead of uh, doing hyperlink here I can actually also press uh, control K you can see here there's a keyboard shortcut press control K it's going to open up the same window I can go to module two and then I can double click here and then press control K and go select module three this is the place in the document here and then module four press control K it will select module four here we'll select module four, four which is slide eleven and then for module five double uh, double click to select everything press control K and then I want to get module five here at the bottom click OK. Now what you might notice here is the links or these text have gone from white color to a blue color and if you're familiar with uh, hyperlinks on the web usually the hyperlinks are a blue color with an underline and we may not want that for our PowerPoint presentation I kinda wanted to have it kind of a white color instead and so when you click it it'll still be white so I don't want it to have this kind of like linking color that's blue what I can do is I can change that. Let me go ahead and change it back to white. Let me go ahead and go to Slide Master. And what you want to do is under the colors here, I'm going to go ahead and go to Customize Colors. And in here, we have this link hyperlink and follow hyperlink. So if you're familiar with a following hyperlink, after you click the hyperlink, the, a hyperlink that's not clicked is blue, but after you click it, it turns a, a purple color. Maybe we don't want that for for our clicks here when we click. We want to stay that we want those to stay white so I'm going to select white for both of them so now the hyperlink is going to be a white color so I'm going to go ahead and click save and now you notice they've all changed to a white color so that's okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy these the set of uh, objects to the other slide so as I mentioned before we want to have this navigation apply to the other slides so just to recap very shortly we created our, our objects, our shapes, and then we created our text, then we created the hyperlinks to go to each of the individual modules, and now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the, the set of objects with their hyperlinks to the other slide masters. So I'm going to select outside here and go ahead and make sure everything's selected. Press Control C to copy, go to the next one, Control V to paste, go over here, the next one, Control V to paste, and whoops there's a couple more here uh, control V to paste here and then control V to paste here control V to paste here and let me go ahead and do the other ones here control V to paste control V to paste control V to paste and paste it here and here's the last one and we're pasting it on the last one and the reason why we're doing it, this again is when we are creating a slide deck um, and we're applying the different layouts uh, we want to have those layouts have this navigation uh, menu uh, above so we just we don't need it for a title slide we don't need it for the main slide which copies it to everything which includes this but we want it on our different uh, master slides here like uh, like this one which is um, the title and content layout and this one which is the section header layout so after this is done you notice that the um, if we had text up here, we had a title here, it gets covered here. So that's the other part of after we copied, we need to kind of adjust these. So when we create a when we apply this layout to another slide, uh, it won't get clobbered by the top of this navigation. So what you can do is in here you can start to adjust. I'm gonna move this down and I'm gonna click over here for the title, use the arrow key and move that down. And then go into my next slide here, next master slide. This looks okay because there's nothing covering here, but this one might be a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and then control and select that so I can multi-select and I'm just use the arrow key kind of move that down a little bit 
and also go ahead and click this now and kind of move this down with the arrow key a little bit so it doesn't get clobbered by the menu bar above. Uh, same thing for this one. What we're going to do is probably move this down just a tad bit. This one, control, and then click that and then move that down a bit. And uh, these, okay. and press that, press control to multi-select, move that down a little bit. And uh, this one, I'm going to move that down a little bit. I might even uh, adjust the height of this a little bit so it doesn't get clobbered there. So that looks OK. So you might have to play with this a little bit uh, for each of the individual ones after you create a, a, a navigation bar at the top. So this one is OK. I can just move that all down here. And then this one is all right. This one, I might need to move it a little bit uh, here. So uh, in actuality, if you don't intend to use all the the layout slides you may not need to do this but if you do intend to use most of them yeah you may have to do this so if there's ones that you're pretty sure that you're not going to use maybe you don't need to do this type of adjusting for the text so it doesn't get clobbered by uh, this menu bar so but I'm going to go ahead and just do it for each of the ones here and just to show you an example of, of uh, what you might need to do uh, it's not that hard. You can just go into each one. There's not that many master slides here, so I can just kind of move each one individually. And the same here. This is another one that uh, may, you may need to move a little bit, but it doesn't take too much time. Once you get them all done, now I'm getting to the last one, uh, it gets pretty easy to apply to the rest of your, t your slides if you've got other slides that you want to apply to layout. So this is the last one here. I'm going to move this back up. And after that's done, I'll go ahead and close the master view. And now you'll notice that you know I have these other slides that have this navigation in there. So if I go into slideshow, slideshow, I'm going to click this and go into slideshow. If I go into the menu navigation, let's say that I go to module, I go through the presentation, I press the space bar to go through module 2, 2.1, 2.2, and then 3, 3.1, 3.2, 4, 4.1, 4.2, and five. Let's say that I'm finished with this one. I get a question and module two, I click off of here. It's going to take me to module two. I go through it and maybe I have a question on module four. I can just click module four here and I go to module four. So that's our navigation up there. So as I also had mentioned before, let's say for example that um, we had to change something. Let's say we didn't want uh, this to become to use that particular layout and we want to use some strange layout like a uh, picture with a caption. So now we have the picture with the caption and it also kept this. It kept the uh, navigation. And the reason why I did it was because I had this into the slide master. If I didn't have this in the slide master, let me go ahead and uh, change another. So let's go ahead and change one of the uh, layout, master layouts. I'll go into view, go to slide master, and let's say for example I use um, I'll use this one. I'll use this one change. I'll go ahead and change this one. This is, let me go and hover over it. This is the two content layout. Let me say, if I delete this, press delete. I select it, press delete, close that. And let's say I change this to the two content layout, right? Two content layout. You'll notice now the navigation bar has disappeared. So that's because it, that navigation bar wasn't applied to that particular slide master. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo. So that's the way that we can do it. So that's how you would create a navigation bar on the top of your presentation to help you out when you're presenting so you can go back and forth between different parts of your presentation. So basically just a recap of what we did to create the navigation bars. We went into the slide master, created a shape to kind of give a background, uh, created our other shapes for the text, applied the hypertext for each of them to for each of the modules and then copy and pasted uh, these set of shapes for the other slide masters and that gave us the capability of having a menu bar for our presentation so I hope that helps thanks for watching